The Fates, also recognized as the Moirai in Greek mythology, consist of three sister goddesses with the pivotal responsibility of determining the life courses of mortals from the moment of their birth to the span of their existence and the precise moment of their passing. Each person's destiny is symbolized by a golden thread they intricately weave, and the snapping of this thread signifies the culmination of a human's life journey. The triad of fates comprised Clotho, known as the Spinner, Lachesis, who measured and apportioned destinies, and Atropos, the unyielding and inflexible one. The Roman equivalent of the fates goes by the name Parci. As progeny of the night, the fates wielded dominion over the enigmatic destinies of humanity. Each individual's life and fate were symbolized by a golden thread, meticulously spun by the fates on their spinning wheel. When a person's life reached its conclusion, the sisters would sever the thread. The process involved Clotho, who crafted the thread, Lachesis, who measured it, and Atropos, the one who decisively cut it when the time came for a person to pass away. Even the gods themselves refrained from meddling with the fates once they had decreed a person's destiny, rendering them incapable of saving the lives of their mortal offspring or favored mortals. The three fates emerge from a single Moira, a figure mentioned in Homer's Iliad, responsible for spinning the thread of Hector, the Prince of Troy. While the fates don't occupy a prominent role in myths, they do play a pivotal but understated role in various narratives. They engaged with multiple deities, including Hermes, who was believed to have aided them in the creation of the alphabet. Additionally, they were present during the birth of numerous gods and mortals. Their actions in myths were limited to occasions when they needed to intervene in a person's destiny. In artistic representations, the fates initially appeared as alluring women. However, in later depictions, they transitioned into older women characterized by a solemn demeanor, often holding a spindle, the dice of fate, or occasionally recording the destinies of humans. In literary works, they tended to be portrayed as elderly women. The origin of the fates varies depending on the source. Some accounts attribute their parentage to Nyx, while others claim they were the offspring of Zeus and Themis. Hesiod, in his work Theogony, initially depicts the fates as Nyx's fatherless daughters. As Nyx's offspring, the fates were sisters to other dark forces of the world, such as blame, sad distress, nemesis and strife, as described in Theogony. However, later in the same text, the fates are mentioned as the daughters of Zeus and Themis. It is believed that the idea of the fates being the children of Zeus and Themis emerged after Hesiod's era. Despite Zeus asserting himself as their father and referring to himself as the leader of the fates, certain ancient writers, including Herodotus and Plato, did not take his claim seriously. In myths featuring the Moirai, their presence typically signals a request for intervention in the destiny of an individual. For instance, in the tale of Tantalus, a king commits the gruesome act of slaying and cooking his own son to offer as a meal to the gods. When the gods become aware of Tantalus's heinous deed, they appeal to Clotho for assistance in sparing the son's life. Given Clotho's role in weaving the threads of life and dictating the beginnings of each life, she successfully resurrects the son. Tantalus is subsequently condemned for his actions, facing an eternal sentence as punishment. In the narrative of Alcestis and Admetus, a queen beseeches the Moirai as her husband faces imminent death. She cleverly intoxicates the three goddesses and persuades them to spare her husband's life, allowing another to take his place. Though the fates consent, no one volunteers until the queen sacrifices herself, ensuring her husband's recovery at the cost of her own life. In the account of the Caledonian boar hunt, the Moirai appear in their customary role during the birth of a hero. They foretell to the hero's mother that her child's life will endure until a certain log burns to ash in the fireplace. Swiftly, the mother retrieves the log, safeguarding her son's fate by protecting it from burning. Thank you for joining us on our journey through the ancient tales of Greek mythology. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, may the stories of ancient myths continue to captivate and inspire.